Hi everyone! It has come to my attention that teenagers these days watch everything on YouTube, and there are all of these people my age making videos for teenagers of just themselves existing. Like in a really basic way, like their skincare routine or playing a video game, and millions of teenagers watch them. I've been putting my death videos on YouTube for like two years now, but I've never really made videos for YouTube, which is why there are like six teenagers who watch this channel. But that's actually a shame because in order to enact real cultural change, we need 14-year-olds to rise up and enact the mortality awareness revolution. Hashtag death positivity at interacting with corpses. What's a One Direction? Your cranky old Aunt Sally asks. Aunt Sally, hello, it's the One Direction we're all headed towards since birth, our inevitable march towards the grave. Duh, don't be lame. You can find like three informational videos about cremation, but don't worry, over half a million people have uploaded videos called What's in my purse? Since death is kind of a hard sell, I thought if you can't beat them, join them. So here's what's in my purse. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is my purse. It's made by um, a, sh a, a, a purse maker. Of some of some sort. First, we have uh, this lip balm, Burt's Bees Soothing Eucalyptus and Menthol. Really great taste. One of my April favorites, actually. Okay, here is my Orbitoclast. Uh, I was getting an organic panini the other week, and someone yells, "Help! This man needs a transorbital lobotomy. Is there anyone with vintage medical devices in the house?" And if I had had this guy with me, I would of course put this pointy part behind his eye and hammered it in to separate his two frontal lobes, but I didn't have it and I felt so bad because it's just so easy to have it with you. So now I just make sure that I always carry it with me. This is my cell phone. I use it for like texting and like phone calls. You know how people carry around puppies in their purse? I thought that was the cutest thing. But a dog is big responsibility, obviously. So I got a bat and named him Bat Albert. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And I kept him in my purse, but he, he died because I kind of forgot he was in there. So I mummified him and I still keep him in there because he's adorable, obviously. And just to remind me that purses are not for pets. Oh, I totally actually forgot this was in here. This is a nail polish, in case any of you are interested in maybe getting it. Uh, it's Clairol. Rise, rise, and feast freely this night on the virgin blood of the innocents. Just kind of like a cute red color for every day. This is a uh, gas bill, late as usual. This is my makeup pouch, pink, super cute, little gold leaf. Uh, it is... Yeah, yeah, it is, it is empty because I do use it to reflect on the meaningless void that is our lives that will ultimately end in the death and destruction of all that we hold dear. Wallet. I can get so cranky when I get hungry. Are you guys like that? Um, so I just like to make sure that I always have a snack with me. Let's see, I've got uh, some pistachios here. And if I'm looking for something a little sweeter, a uh, fetal skull carved out of white chocolate. You know when you're in the park and you find an animal, but it's so badly decomposed, you can hardly even tell if it was like a squirrel or a raccoon or a bird. Um, I like to be able to identify it by its heart. It's pretty standard. I hear some birds outside right now, actually. I think that's, it. oh. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, actually. Oh, that, that seems a little dangerous. So that's what's in my purse. To sum up, yes to lip balm, no to live animals. Until next time.